Okay, so first you know that it is conic section. What is the meaning of conic section? Conic section means whenever a cone will slice by a plane, whenever a cone, a cone will slice by a plane to different different position, that is known as conic section. So there are actually we will find out we will find out four types of we here we will discuss about the four types of conic section. First one is circle, second one is parabola. Third one is ellipse and fourth one is what? Fourth one is your hyperbola. Okay. So it is your cone. It is your cone. Cone you all have. I hope that everyone have understood about the cone. Everyone in their earlier classes. Okay. So whenever we will cut it, whenever we will cut it, whenever we will slice the cone by the plane parallel to its base, so we will find out the circle. Suppose that we will cut whenever we will cut it by the plane. It is your plane. This is your plane, and whenever this cone will cut by the plane, by the plane, it will be gives the circle. It will be gives circle. So circle is a conic. Circle is a conic. So now from here you already see that it will be represent the circle. You must the cone. You must have a circle here. Okay. And also you all know that how we define the circle. How we define the circle. Circle means collection of. You all know. You all know that. We will find out a circle. It is your circle, and circle is defined as the collection of all those points which are equidistant from a fixed point. Which are equidistant. Every point. There are infinite points which are lies on the on its circumference. There are infinite points which are unable to count. Which are unable. We we uh, for which we be unable to count the points. So it is your circle collection of all those points which are equidistant from a fixed point. That is known as circle. Okay, students. So now here we will discuss that how we will find out the equation of the circle. So first of all, you all will uh, you all will see that it is your suppose that it is your coordinate axis. It is your coordinate axis, and you all know that it is your x x dash and y y dash y y dash. Here the where these two line segments x x dash and y y dash are intersect each other. That point is known as origin. Suppose that here. We want to draw draw this 2D shape. It is your 2D shape that is your circle. It is your circle. So how do we find out? How we how we can find out the equation of the circle? How can we circle by equation? We can find it. So first of all, we should be we should be define define a point. It is your arbitrary point. It is your arbitrary point on the circumference of the circle of which the coordinates are x and y. This is the coordinates of the x y y. Why the coordinates of always x y because it will lies in 2D plane x and y plane. Now huh? the surface of the board represent 2D. So now we can draw a circle. And you know that according to definition there are infinite points. So how we can define the coordinates of a point on the circumference? Let it be p and it is your no. It is this point is known as arbitrary point. Wherever you can consider the point. You will find out x and y, but according to direction, you all know that it is your first quadrant, it is your first quadrant, it is your second quadrant, it is your third quadrant, and it is your fourth quadrant. Clear, everybody? So now, in second quadrant, in second quadrant, negative positive axis are will be negative, and ordinate will be positive. In third quadrant. Both are negative. In fourth quadrant, axis are will be positive and ordinate will be negative. Clear, everybody? So now we want to uh, let the you all know that it is the coordinates of the origin. Coordinates of origin is zero zero, where the axis are intersect, join or meet to one another. And also we have considered a point on its circumference, so we wish we should join these two points. It is your line segment. It is your fixed value, and now you all know that. What is OP? OP is radius of the circle. It is your OP and OP is radius. OP is radius of the circle. And you know that you have studied in your 2D shape, in your 2D two dimensional, two dimensional geometry that how will find out the distance between two points? How will we find out? Find out the distance between two points. How we will find out the distance between between the given two points? Between the given two Okay, so we have a point origin O of this coordinate zero zero, and also we have a point arbitrary point P 
of which coordinates are x, y. So now OP, OP is radius. OP will be represented by radius and distance between OP that is equal to x1 minus x2 whole square plus of y2 minus y1 whole square. So now we can write down as it is x square plus of y square. x square plus of y square. It is your radius. It is your radius and that is equal to distance, fixed distance. It is your fixed distance. Okay. So now we will how can how we can find out the equation of the circle. Equation of the circle means you all know that how we will find out distance between these two points, distance between these two points equal to what? x square plus root x square plus y square and now you can also write it as it is r square r square is equal to what x square plus y square root x square plus y square is squaring on both sides okay so now by this way we will find out x square plus of y square that is equal to what that is equal to r square it is the equation of a circle of which center of which center is at origin and the coordinates of the point which lies on its circumference that is your arbitrary point it is your p of its coordinates of x and y y because it will lie in two b plane so in this way it is your it will represent the equation of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square or, or you can also write as it is, or you can also write as it is x square plus y square minus of r square is equal to 0. So it is your equation of the circle when the center will rise at the origin and it will be the point which will rise on its circumference of the circle. Okay.